Hey everyone, um, so I've got a interesting video here, as you, I mean you can already see it's on the screen here. Um, I recorded today's Hearthstone Daily um, using a different kind of format that I used previously because while dealing with some problems with a previous recording I had, I was looking up, you know, solutions and one of them was to, well I guess it wasn't a solution, but it was a solution for further future problems that it may cause was to switch this format. Turns out it doesn't help at all. It makes it a million times worse and unusable. So that's great. So I have the footage and everything, but it's so out of sync and just jumbled, it's not, it can't be made into video. I tried, it just, nothing works, it's all bad. Um, so we're gonna do this instead. Um, we're gonna do a, the Would You Rather thing, I, I, it's very popular online right now. Um, I think it's kind of fun, we'll see how it goes. Um, it, it means it probably won't be like a super long video, because I'll be doing this, but hopefully, and it's plus, what, one of the big things I've said for A, it's new. New is always good. I'm trying new things. I need to. I need to grow. If I just do Hearthstone forever, I'll never change, and that'll be boring. So new things. Plus, it's new like editing and recording things. You know, I'm trying to try to branch out, learn new skills in this. So we're gonna start off with this first question here. Would I rather be immortal or die right now? So I don't know about other people, but even like with this option, I feel like immortal is just infinitely better than dying right now. Unless maybe you're older, you know, are going through some things. But me personally. I've always wanted to be immortal. Immortality is like, if I had a genie wish, one genie wish, no, no catches, be immortal. Guaranteed. So, I'm gonna go with that, and good. I, a lot of people agree. Because, like, sure, maybe you don't like being immortal. Maybe the idea of immortality is scary. But the idea of either that or dying the second you click that button is terrifying. Right, how do I, I think I pressed this button to go next. There we go. Would I rather play Slender or play Amnesia? Um... Definitely Amnesia. Amnesia is just a better game as far as like story goes. Not to not to knock Slender. I know Slender is very popular, and the new one I don't remember what it's called. But like, there's actually a really good story, and there's a lot of different creatures other than Slenderman in it. So like that's a, that's a good game. But Amnesia just kind of always hit home as a better game as far as like kind of immersion and storytelling. No, more people play Slender. I do get that Slender is more popular, but all right. Um. Being contestant on Wheel of Fortune or Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune. I'm not smart enough to be on Jeopardy. That's just a fact. There you go, yeah. And I, I, I guarantee you, majority of those are like, I just don't know enough things to be on Jeopardy. Um, only smell like poop. Only smell poop. Okay. Um. Uh, that's a tough one, honestly. Because both are just awful. Neither are good. Um. I think I'm good with only smell poop, because then only I suffer. And sure, it makes kind of like my life, you know, a just a little a little bit worse for the rest of forever because I smell, only smell poop, but it means that I can actually hang out with people now because I like being social. So the idea of n just constantly smelling like poop is the worst. So I'm going to only smell poop. There you go. A lot of people agree with me. Um, would you rather live alone on a tropical island or live with other people in Antarctica? See, I don't know. Honestly, I think I'm going to go with Antarctica for two reasons. One, as... I said just moments ago, I like being social. I like people. I like hanging out. Now, sure, if I live alone on a tropical island, maybe there's other people on the island I just don't live with them, and you know, you can rationalize that. But at the same time, living with other people guarantees that there are other people with me. And two, I honestly really like being cold. Like, sure, Antarctica's like an extreme cold, and I won't be happy with that. You know, I'll still be bundling up in space heaters and all that stuff. But I prefer cold way more than I prefer hot. So, I'm going with Antarctica and... Really? That's a majority? I honestly didn't expect that. I was almost positive it would have been Tropical Island. Okay, then. If I could kill Voldemort, why would why would anyone kill Harry Potter? Like, because, sure, even if you don't like Harry Potter, or, you know, you think Voldemort isn't, like, that bad a guy, it's just like, Vold Voldemort's not a good guy. He kills a lot of people for, I'm not going to say no reason, but not a good reason. So, yeah, I mean, like... This just seems... I don't know why almost 30% of people said they want to kill Harry Potter. Except, like, yeah. I just... I don't... I don't know. Um. Alright. To be forced to watch My Little Pony for 24 hours or have the... Again, I kind of have to agree. Uh, for if you those watch Markiplier, he did the same question. And it's just... Watch it, you know? Sure, you know, you're forced to watch it for 24 hours, which, you know, is not great. But at the same time, if it's 24 hours or the rest of your life, unless you're going to die within 24 hours... The show is a much better option. Yeah, exactly. Um, say yes to everything or no to everything. Honestly, I'm going to go with yes. Uh, I think that would 
A, I mean, it's just, it's, you're positive, you're a more positive person, but B, I think that would make me do things outside my comfort zone, but not, like, bad things, like, you know, you know, someone's like, hey, want to come, you know, skydiving with us? Yes, you know, I, I probably would say no in real life, but saying yes, that forces me to go, so I'm gonna go say yes, and then, yeah, okay, majority of people. Never eat pizza, oh, oh no, oh no, my question. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I really like food. I am a heavy fellow who really likes food. So to never eat pizza again is very sad, but to never drink another soda is also very sad. But I think I'm gonna go with soda, cause like, I like pizza and you can do a lot with pizza, and I like soda, but you know, I tried to drink not as much soda, cause it's just bad for me, and like, I'm not doing a lot to make myself healthy, but by not drinking soda, it's at least not making it worse. So I'm gonna go with not, never drink soda. Okay, yeah, cause pizza, pizza is so good. I pizza is really good. Um, get what the? <laughs> get punched in the mouth with a mouthful of razor blades, or get punched in the mouth with a mouthful of needles? Oh, oh. Um. I'm gonna go with needles, um, for the prime reason of, I'm pretty sure, I mean, needles are only pointed in one direction, so if you manipulate them in your mouth, you can get hurt less. So, I'm gonna go with needles. There you go. Apparently, I agree with everyone. I think I've been in the less once. Um, B, B character in Lord of the Rings, or B character in Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings without a doubt. Lord of the Rings is my favorite movies. Uh, I absolutely love the stories. I'd love to read them. I'm just such a slow and impatient reader that it's hard for me to actually read the books, but I love the movies. They're my, I like the lore, I love everything about it. Not so much Harry Potter. That's sad for me. That is very sad. I get it, because Harry Potter is a much more popular thing, like in pop culture and everything. Uh, but just, uh, Lord of the Rings is so much better. Fight me if you want, but Lord of the Rings is so much better. Would you rather meet your future self or meet my future kids? Meet my future kids, because that means I have kids. Yeah, done. Okay. Why? I'd much rather meet my future kids. 100%. That just seems like weird. Have extreme narcolepsy or have a bad case of Tourette's? Both of those are pretty detrimental to everything. Um, and like, and right, they're both like hardcore cases. Neither of them are like, oh, look at this. This is just a little bit. It's not like, yeah, but yeah, it's hardcore. So I constantly have some sort of tick or, you know... Or I just fall asleep randomly. <sighs> uh, this is a really this is a really tough one. Holy cow! Um, extreme narcolepsy or bad case of Tourette? Because narcolepsy means that like so like I'm just trying to think like you know recording point of view. If I have narcolepsy and I'm recording and I fall asleep, that means my recording keeps going and there's just nothing happening and it's a waste of time. If I have Tourette's, it means that throughout the video I'm possibly doing something that would interrupt the video, which means there'd be a lot of edits. So, like, I could edit around the Tourette's. I don't think I can edit around narcolepsy. <sighs> but honestly, in real life, I'd rather, I think I'm gonna go with narcolepsy. I think, I, I think I'd rather have narcolepsy. Nah, I was wrong. Okay. Not by much, but I, I, was, I was in the minority. Um, would you rather be able to experience sadness or anger? Anger. I unfortunately get way too angry at video games. Uh, just the other day, I was doing something that I got irrationally mad at. Like, luckily, I can control it in the sense of like I don't hurt myself or other things, like people or things. I just get I just get really mad and I yell a lot. Um, so if I was unable to experience anger, I think that'd be really good. But I totally get sadness because I don't like sadness either. I mean, both those emotions are very negative, so I get both. But for me personally, I think anger would be, um, would you rather be Lindsay Lohan or be Miley Cyrus? I, I think Lindsay Lohan? I don't know. I feel like Lindsay Lohan was more famous than Miley is, but I could be wrong. Maybe not, like, in, right, in the moment, Miley's definitely more famous, because she's, like, kind of a now thing. Not, not even that much anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Lindsay Lohan. Because she was at least really cool before the drugs. Okay, I was wrong. All right. Choosing if you if you had to choose a portable game device, would you rather have a DS or a PSP? DS. I mean, I have one. I use it not super frequently, um, but I do have one. I there are games on it. Not to say that I don't dislike the PSP. I don't. I don't have one. I don't really know what's on it. But 
I like Nintendo games, so I'm probably gonna go with that. Uh, oh wow, that's a really close one. I didn't, I didn't expect. Like, I guess it kind of makes sense. Ooh, would I rather have Ice Breath or Fire Breath? I think Fire Breath. I think I would need the Fire Breath more often than I would need a. Uh, what do you even that Ice Breath? I mean, like, ooh, you know, ooh, my food's too hot. I can cool it off, but at the same time, I could. I could do much more with Fire Breath than with Ice Breath, I feel. Especially since, like, I'm not going around saving the world, I'm not like Superman. If I was Superman, sure, Ice Breath would be way more useful. But as a normal person with uh, with a Ice or Fire Breath, I think Fire Breath is the right answer. Um, and I was wrong. Really? Why? Uh, I guess the first the first comment is I could cool my beer so fast. I'm like, yeah, sure you could, and I get that concept that you can cool your things, but at the same time, I could reheat my food so fast. You know, it works. Um, but that's it for this video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. I I think I had a lot of fun recording it. I thought it was, it definitely was good. Um, feel free to comment down below. Um, what answers you would have picked or what you do to disagree with, you know, yell at me for not liking Harry Potter or whatever, you know, feel free, you do you. Um, like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to keep updated future uploads, and hopefully, you'll tune in next time.